Hey gang! <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Five Headed Shark Attack. And yes, Shark Schlock Week Spring Break Edition 2018, that's still a lot to say, continues. Well, it's another, it's another shark problem. This time it's happening in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, sorry. And, of course, the movie starts off kind of like the first two did. Random people getting attacked by a shark. You don't know who they are. You don't care. But in this case, it's a four-headed shark. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, oh, wait a minute, it's called five-headed shark attack. Why is that? Well, when you find out, you're probably going to just roll your eyes, but... Anyway, the police arrive at a museum or some crap like that to recruit Dr. Angie and her boss, Thaddeus. Anybody with a name like that in any kind of a horror movie, you know they're scum. <laughs> and if anybody out there is named Thaddeus, I apologize, but yeah. Anyway, uh, Angie recruits some fellow marine biologists to go out there and try and get the shark. So, they wind up hiring her ex, Red, to do the whole, to help him out and everything like that. Well, needless to say, their first trip out does not go so well because one of the marine biologists named Sean is taken out by one of the sharks. So, what do they do? Go back out, do it again, <laughs> and another one gets taken out. I think her name was Lindsay or something like that. So, they're revved up for revenge and they want to get that shark. So, Angie, Red, Thaddeus, Kate, and Ram wind up going out there to try and take down the shark once and for all. But of course, the sharks like to do, keeps messing with, keeps messing with their boat to where they can't go anywhere. So, what happens? Well, they, they get a hold of a, of a helicopter. And if you guys know, helicopters and shark movies don't always end well. The helicopter comes to rescue them, and what happens? Sharky gets the helicopter. They presume the shark is dead, but it turns out it's not. It's just underneath the helicopter. So then the shark attacks again. <laughs> and it's down to Red to try and finally take care of the shark. So he grabs a big hook, some explosives, and you can guess the rest. As it does in most of these other shark movies, yes, the shark goes kaboom. Red is presumed dead, but it turns out that kind of rhymed. But it turns out, he gets back on the boat, proposes to Angie, and the movie ends on a happy note. So, why did this movie suck? I think it has a big thing to do with the title. Which is why I'm going to tell you guys why it's called Five-Headed Shark Attack, but it only had four heads. The fifth head is on the tail. Yeah, apparently it grew a fifth head on the tail about right around halfway around, around the part of the movie. Why? Pollution. Sea is in trouble. Gotta save the endangered wildlife. Blah, 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 blah. They actually tried to, at, at several points, describe the movie as a demented starfish. And I thought, I think Patrick Starr would probably take great offense to that. But he's a lovable starfish. Now, I'll, I'll tell you guys, I enjoyed Two-Headed Shark Attack. It's a dumb, fun, bad movie. But it's fun, if you can get past Brooke Hogan's wooden acting. Other than that, it's a good movie. Three-Headed Shark Attack. Well, I, I gotta give a little bit more credit to Two-Headed Shark Attack. Two-Headed Shark Attack had a couple of good things going for it. That was that the CGI shark was pretty impressive, and they also used an animatronic shark in the movie, too, which was really awesome. Three-Headed Shark Attack... The three-headed shark in it looked very impressive. And I'm not a fan of CGI, but I gotta admit, it looked pretty awesome. But this one, the shark looks really bad. And... It's pretty predictable. I mean, I was kind of wanting to not review this movie because Two-Headed Shark Attack, fun movie. Three-Headed Shark Attack, a little bit better. 
But this one was like, you can just sit there and go, they're next, they're next, they're next, they're next. As far as the gore goes, it's, it's okay. Um, but when you're, when you're told you're going to watch a five-headed shark attack movie, you kind of expect what you're seeing right there. All five heads right there. Not four heads and one for a tail. So, Asylum, if you're going to do another one, do it right, or just don't make another one at all. Oh, yeah, and they also kind of reference Sharknado in this movie, so... Ha ha. But there you guys have it, a review of Five-Headed Shark Attack. If you've seen this one, please let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Or if you've seen the other two, I'd love to hear what you guys think about those two as well. And of course, if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. If you've got a horror, sci-fi, horror, comedy, horror, or fantasy horror movie that jumped its own movie, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. And of course, Shark Schlock Week Spring Break Edition 2018 is going to keep going till Saturday. So until the next one that comes out, which will probably be tomorrow, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.